hello students today's topic is java to enterprise edition architecture so let's go through what j2e architecture is all about the j2e architecture is divided into main three tiers that is client tier server tier and database tier client tier holds the logic of how the entire application is can be interact with the user or how can user interact with the entire system server tier consists the main logic of how the entire application works and the database tier holds the logic of how the data should be fetched and displayed to the user for example uh, if you want to search any particular video on youtube youtube you just simply enter the topic how you enter the topic is the work of client tier how you interact with the youtube is the work of client tier how the video will be shown to you and how the all other suggested videos will be shown to you is the work of server tier and from where the actual the content the video content will be shown to the user is the work of database tier application logic application which is divided into three client tier server tier and database tier this kind of application is known as three tier architecture the application logic is further divided into following tier client tier server tier and database tier application logic is the main logic of any application or system for example if you consider youtube the main logic of the youtube is to display videos to the user according to their demands next slide this slide shows the j2e architecture the first part is the client tier or client machine the second is j2e server tier or server machine and third is the database tier as you can see in the diagram client tier consists of application client and dynamic html pages server tier consists of jsp pages uh, servlet pages can be also there ejb enterprise java beans pages java server faces java mail faces all other component can be resized in this tier and the third is database tier which holds the data client tier consists of the user interface for user request and print the response client tier runs on client machine and client tier basically use the following components of client side java applet java application and java web pages so ultimately client tier has the logic of how the a entire application can be interacted with the user how user will be communicate with your system is the work of client tier second is server tier server tier consists of web tier and business tier web tier consists of the jsp that is java server pages and servlet dynamic pages to handle the http specific request to logon sessions and access the business services and finally construct a response and send it back to the client business tier consists of the business logic for the j2e application for example enterprise java beans the advantage of having a centralized business tier is that same business logic can support different types of clients like browsers web and other standalone applications etc in other words having a centralized business tier uh, user can interact your application from any different screen sizes whether is or uh, whether he or she is using your application from browser or web or any other standalone pc the logic remains the same the logic remains the same database tier that is enterprise information system consists of database management systems or relational database management system the difference between dbms and rdbms is that uh, relational database management system defines relationship between data where dbms does not have a relationship between data the benefit of using rdbms is the data integrity which you cannot have in dbms it handles the user's sql request and generates appropriate response based on queries it is also responsible for communicating with external resources such as legacy system erp system 
messaging systems like MQ series, etc. It also stores all persistent data in the database. Persistent data data is not for temporary basis. It stores data in, in permanent basis. So thank you students. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Thank you.